Hi, I'm Gwendolyn Go, your desperate housewife who crafts. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm really excited to show you a new method I found of making a one layer card on Distress Oxide inks and a pen called Derwin Graphic Line Painters. So I found these Derwent line painters at my local art store yesterday and I was so excited when I saw what you can do with them. I've put a link down below and onto my blog to show you what graphic artists use them for and it's really amazing what they can produce. But what I'm interested in is using them to paint on distress inked backgrounds. Now these pens are water-based pigment ink pens but they give such opaque and deep color that you can even use them on black or dark colored cardstock. So if you're like me and you hate masking or you have um, stamps like these ones from Stamplorations that are just too time consuming to mask over them, I found that I can color in these stamps onto a distress oxide background and it really covers the distress background without reacting with them. So I first stamped this beautiful lily stamp from Stamplerations onto my card and I went in with the lightest line painter pen I had and shaded completely each petal together with my water pen, pen to blend them in. So they react like, wat uh, like watercolors. You can blend them and you can merge colors into each other when they're still wet. But when they're dry, the color that you put on top will just stay. So you have to work quite quickly if you want to blend colors together. Now, these pens um, are very reasonably priced. I found them on Amazon today for less than 3 euros a pen. Um, I only bought 4 from my art shop because I didn't know what they were like. But I was so happy with them today that I just went to buy the 20 pen box set. They only have 20 colors for the moment. But if you mix and blend them, you can create many other colors. So I'm not doing much shading today. I'm just experimenting with my pens. And I'm just coloring each petal with a single color. But I found a way to shade with these pens and I will bring out another video soon showing you how I did it. So I'm not sure if you can see it properly but uh, because I speed up the video if not this video would go on too long. But I just put in very fine strokes of ink. These pen nibs are 0.5 millimeters, so they're really fine and they can give a lot of detail to a stamp or to your drawing. But I actually just put down very fine strokes and then went over with my water pen. And because these pens are so opaque, these paints are so opaque, they give so much color with very little ink. So I think these pens will last me quite a long time. One tip though, you have to put the cap back on as soon as you use them. And you have to store them lying down. I think that's so that the sponge tip in the pen stays wet and doesn't dry up. I'm not sure. But if you go on to the manufacturer's site called Derwent, D-E-R-W-E-N-T, they will give you all the instructions on how to store them and use them properly. So as you can see, once I finished painting each petal with the dark blue pen and let it dry, I tried to create a little bit of perspective by putting the light blue shading in the middle of each petal and I went over it with my water pen. Now once the dark blue coloring was dry, it's not going to react with the water. So it creates a little bit of lightness onto each petal, if you know what I mean. I'm not very good at painting terms, so sorry, bear with me. Another thing I love about these pens is once the area where you've painted is completely dried, you can go over it with the pen again and create details with it and not worry that it's going to blend with the color underneath. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that little bud of a flower over there. I think I wasn't very happy with the color I put in in the beginning. So I was just going back in and trying to change the color. That's what's really great about these pens. If you put down a color 
and you don't like it, once it's dry, you can put another color over it and it will completely hide that color. Here, I didn't want to hide the blue, dark blue completely. I think I wanted to give, um, m give it more lightness or something. I can't remember anymore, even though I just did it last night. So here I'm painting over the little flowers just using pure color. I, I'm not um, blending it with water at all. So you need really not much ink to paint over them. As you can see, I'm not pumping uh, the pen at all. Uh, not very much anyway. So to use these pens to have the ink flow down onto the nib, you have to uh, press on them once in a while. But you have to be very careful not to press too much because a whole blob of ink will come out. Now, there are other things you can do with these blob of inks that I experimented early on that really made quite a mess on another card. But if you like a more artistic feel to cards, you will really like the other card. I'll show it to you at the end of the video. I'm not quite sure whether I want to chuck the other one or not. But anyway, I digress. So here I realized I didn't outline the flower very well. So using the example of the stamp image, I went back in with the lighter pen, the called Minted, and just outlined the flower again. So as you can see, you can just outline over it and the, whichever color that you use, uh, the latest color, will just completely cover the color before. Here I made a mistake, which might happen quite often. I went in with my water pen uh, right after I had used it to color the leaves. So there was still some green ink onto my pen. And as the inks are so opaque, they left quite a bit of green onto the petal. But as you saw, I just blobbed it with a bit of tissue and most of the ink came out. You can also wait until your ink dries and just go over it again with the color you meant that petal to be. Now I would recommend that you use watercolor paper if you're using these pens for the first time just like me and you're going to go over them again with different colors or with a lot of water. Here I am using a 250 gram multi-technique paper. So this was meant for mixed media or watercolor. And as you saw, I have taped it down with uh, painter's masking tape so that the paper doesn't warp. This is quite important, whichever watercolor based paints you use, that you tape it down with masking tape. So now I'm going to put on some music to give you a break from my voice and let you enjoy the rest of the coloring process. But then I'll come back in when I start adding water on the card and that's when you'll see where the real magic happens. Once I finished doodling on the flower and was satisfied with how it turned out, I wanted to create a water splattered look onto the card. So in the beginning, I protected the flower from the water but I needn't have bothered because it did not react with the paints at all as you can see. It only reacted with the Distress Oxide background. Now you can use these pens to create paint splatters also. So now there's no longer a need to use uh, watercolor paints or other kind of, of, of pens to create your splatter background. Well, as you can see, I put in a huge blob of ink onto the card as it's the first time I used it to create paint splatters. But I am sure that with more practice, I will be able to manage the flow of inks onto the nib of my pen. 
As I wanted to keep this a one layer card, I just trimmed my watercolor paper down to the size I wanted and folded it in half and then finished it with the sentiment from Stamplerations. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and this method of coloring directly on Distress Oxide inks. I certainly love it and you can be sure I'll be making more cards with these pens very soon and sharing it on YouTube with you and on my blog. As promised, here is the first experiment I did with the markers. As you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Unless you like the very artistic type of painting, then you will just love it. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping by. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And please leave me a comment to let me know what you think of this method and of my card. Thanks for coming and see you back real soon. Bye!